Hey, Matt here. This is Scrapebox fact number one. The most common question I see is where do I start with Scrapebox? Well, it's kind of a loaded question. Um, there's a lot of places you can start, but the best place is to just go right into Scrapebox and go to help. And right here is a usage guide. There's lots of videos through here, lots of good information. Um, that is where I would start. Watch every video, read every page, and you'll get the general gist, uh, gist of it. Then you can go to the sales thread where you bought Scrapebox, if you bought it on a forum or something like that, and you can read through all those. If you didn't, head over to blackhatworld.com or many other forums that sold on. You can read sales threads there, also supporting threads, or just any websites or videos you might find elsewhere in general. What platforms does Scrapebox post to? Well, in fast poster mode, it posts to WordPress, movable type, and B2 evolution. In slow comment or accurate mode, it posts to blog engine, expression engine, and Drupal. Now you don't have to enable accurate mode, but results can vary. If you're gonna ask for help on a forum or anywhere, be specific when you ask for help. People all the time ask for help, and they don't give enough information to answer the question. So include air codes. You can find a great list of air codes that you can also use to troubleshoot your own right here under the help section in Scrapebox server error code for reference. This, if you read through here and you're getting an error code number, just read this and most likely it'll solve it if you don't understand it. Post up any error codes and any specific information about exactly what's happening when you're having a problem and someone will try to help you as best as possible when possible. Can I use it on two machines? Well, Here's the official answer to that. Again, under the help section, if you go to how to transfer your license, um, we can load right up here and see you're permitted to transfer to another machine one time per month for free. Basically, it's designed in case you reinstall Windows, your computer crashes, that sort of thing. But you can read through everything specifically here, again, under the help section on Scrapebox. Scrapebox put a virus on my PC help? That's very unlikely. What you need to do is read specifically what your antivirus program is saying is the problem. Um, you can read through, Scrapebox has a great reputation. Um, it, I think it's safe to say that it, it's very obvious that Scrapebox is not designed to put a virus on your PC, but if you do have an issue with an antivirus program, whatever you're using, you can definitely submit Scrapebox to your antivirus company to be decompiled and checked for viruses, and then they will take it off the list. Most of the time, what happens when you're having a Scrapebox issue, when you're using Scrapebox and your antivirus says there's a virus, is um, it's a virus on a web page you're trying to post to or something like that. So understanding how Scrapebox works, it basically emulates Internet Explorer for lack, in a very simple terms, it emulates Internet Explorer. So it's just like if you were to load up a web page, and if that web page has a virus on it or whatever, and it tries to attack your computer, your antivirus is going to stop it. Well, Scrapebox does this, obviously, at a, a rapid rate, so it can load hundreds of pages a minute, and so it can rapid fire through these pages, and you never see the pages, but it's still loading to some extent, and that virus can still try to attack your computer, and your antivirus is stopping it, and that's most likely where you're getting the red flag. That, or you just really don't have very good antivirus software. But definitely submit it to be decompiled to your antivirus company if you think that there's an issue. And that's the end of fact one.